Hey GearHeads, this is Chris with GearReport.com and This is from Kamek Operations. This is the new Kamek Mantis sleep system hammock and tarp that they just came off their re most recent Kickstarter just got it in the mail today box is still wrapped up packaged figured why not I'm home I'm here you're here let's take a look at it so this is just gonna be a quick introduction to it uh, first impressions I'll give a full review once I get a few nights in it and actually use it to sleep in and go from there so Let's do a quick unboxing. Just take a look at it, see what they sent me, and then we'll take it outside and put it up in the backyard. In the box, you got some wrapping paper. I've got a, we're excited to spend time outside with you, Team Kamek. Thanks, Team Kamek. I will say that uh, Kamek sent this to me for a review, for an unbiased review. So, here's what we got. The Mantis, there's a carabiner on the bottom. Got a place for some stakes on the outside of the pack. Supposedly, there's a divider inside between the, to keep the hammock away from the tarp. I don't know how that's gonna work. I've had previous systems where the tarp and the hammock had been lodged together, and the only thing I found out was after a rainstorm and I got to camp the next night, my hammock was wet. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, let's throw it on the scale since it's brand new, completely undirtied. Put my scale tear out, and scale weight is two pounds, 13.2 ounces. So that's two pounds, 13.2 ounces. Uh, let's see on the outside, obviously the stakes. Looks like I've got six stakes coming with it. Got a little loop to hold. I've got a roll top closure. Open it up. I'm gonna say this is the hammock. Got two rolls of straps. And what appears to be a gray tarp. Dig the color combo. Not for climbing carabiner, but I'm sure it's uh, 13 kilonewtons sideways, 5 kilonewtons, and 4 uh, length or widthwise, and 4 kilonewtons if the gate's open. So that'll be plenty of strength to hold me up. Really kind of excited how to get this going. So. Let's go put it to its first test, which I'm not sure Kamek was expecting. I don't have any trees in the yard, so I've got my tents of four stand set up outside in the backyard. Let's go see if we can make this work. I'll catch you in a minute. All right, so here's what we've got. They ship with us. Here's the stuff sack that you saw earlier. It is attached to the hammock. They sent six uh, DAC stakes two python straps i kind of like how they've got the python straps packed it, it seems really cool they went short on one way and then long on the other and they just kind of fit inside themselves i have to remember that next time i use a uh, python straps or daisy chains these are their new sewn through designs we'll see how those work and then you've also got the tarp so i'm out here in my backyard i've already got my Tents of stand four set up, and this is the newest model. So let me get it up since I'm filming by myself today, and we'll get the hammock up. We'll take a look at it, and then we'll throw the tarp on and take a look at that. All right, so we've got the hammock set up. Let's go with first impressions. First impressions, it is very striking, it is very unique in appearance um let's start with uh there are four pullouts on each of the four corners with these little i'm gonna guess aluminum hooks that are attached to a length of shock cord that run down to a line lock that run down to the stake so that's on all four sides 
in looking at it, there's a two-tone bug net. So I'll have to investigate more on what that two-tone bug net is. Looks like it's black on top and silver on the sides. Because there are pockets here and then on this other little wing that Kamek has, I'm gonna assume that this is the dedicated head end. Easy to notice, it's also the end that's attached to the outside carabiner. So that makes that guesswork go away. <laughs> Have noticed that on it, instead of most conventional ridge lines, they've actually got the ridge line running out. This little spot here between the zippers and then it connects into the carabiner. So it, there is a removable bug net. The zippers go actually under the bug net. Let's see if I can get down there. Got an orange and a gray one and they meet there. So it looks like you're gonna have four zippers too long and too short. Zippers flow pretty freely. They are YKK. Coming over to the foot end, you do also have that same snap system. I guess that way you do a pretty good job keeping the bugs out. This uh, black and silver bug netting is pretty striking. On the top, coming out, the am steel appears to have a very nice berry in it. You've, the python straps are now appear to be a sewn through design. They do taper. They do start off. I'm going to say that's inch and a half, and then for around the tree for security, and then they do taper off. Back side of the hammock. <clears throat> Looks the same. Kamek label on this side, or I guess this is probably the front side. Eh, maybe I should have read the directions a little bit more. But you do have another interior pocket. You do have a couple loops on the inside. I'll take a closer look at those when I get in. And it's kind of interesting. I'll take this all the way up. And I'm actually going to unhook this one. And there's a toggle on the bug nut. Like there would be for a tent. It's going to give you a little bit of a rollback. I kind of like that. That's neat. Oh yeah, this is new. Let me get the zero shoes off. All right. So it is a 10 foot hammock. The direction, the uh, website says 120 inches long by 50. Two or 56 inches wide. I will uh, dive into that deeper. I'll probably deconstruct it to make sure, and I'll get you a ridge line length on this as well because the ridge line does seem to be fixed and not adjustable. A little piece of bug netting. But the black bug netting over the top kind of does a neat job of helping with some of the sun rays and on the side the fabric let me talk about the fabric the fabric is very soft very silky smooth uh, it is does not feel like any of the cheaper Chinese made or the typical lounge around the quad hammocks it does feel like a legitimate hammock camping fabric um, it is very soft and almost cotton-like. 
I believe they're using a proprietary fabric on that. Let's go ahead and zip in this bug net. The zipper is actually, if you can see it, under this little storage area that they've got. And that looks like that'd be perfect for my glasses, headlamp, cell phone, and such. On to these loops. There's one on each side at the head, and I do not see any at the foot end, but there's also another main loop up here. I can only imagine that's for a peak loft type of a peak loft type storage area, which I really like those. Dutch Dutch did a good thing when he brought those to the market. Um, if he was the originator, I don't know. I've got mine in my chameleon and it's a great little add-on to have. Dual zippers, both sides. This is quality. Let me uh, stop the video. We'll uh, throw the tarp on and see what the tarp does. Okay, gearheads. There it is. The Kamek Mantis with tarp. Couple things right off that I noticed because mostly because I put it up backwards the first time. It is a asymmetrical tarp. If you look, I don't know how well you can tell, but the head end of the tarp actually comes out wider than the foot end does. So you wanna keep the label at your head. You do have six tie outs. Each tie out does have a hole in it, as well as I'm gonna say that that's a pretty good place for a trekking pole. And each tie out has generous line. I do not know the length, but I'm gonna say it's about eight feet of line with a line lock attached, so as well as the ridge line which I'm gonna say that that makes it pretty doggone easy to uh, set up. So the ridge line does have the line locks attached as well, as well as a grommet hole. That may be a point of leak, depending on where your uh, tarp's attached, kind of starts covering the hammock. But you got a good 12 to 15 feet around, and then you, again, Camex little hook and the couple times I've unhooked and hooked it back to on the tie outs back to the hammock it's uh, worked pretty well so again there's a quick look the Camex Mantis sleep system hammock sleep system by company Camex We'll come in here.